Welcome to VDG Sports. I am your host, Vince Douglas Gregory. I am here to tell you how to manage your MLS expectations. That's what I'm here for. But I'm looking at this from two different angles, two different directions. Let me go with one direction first, and that's the nice route. So if you are a fan, a fanatic, a supporter of Major League Soccer, your expectations should be just like any other sport. Don't get too high when your team is pulling off wins, draws, no losses, going unbeaten for a large number of games. Just stay even keel just a little bit, but I know how tough it is. I mean, you are enjoying and watching something that the majority of the population don't know anything about. So right then and there puts you in a unique category. In fact, I'll be more honest and I'll say you're a better human being than I am. I attempted, I tried, but it's not for me. I attempted, I tried, it is not for me. However, go ahead and just try to stay even keel, even when your team starts losing or drawing and or both and go winless. Don't get too low. Why? Expectations. Just go ahead and manage them. There's no pyramid and there's definitely not a pyramid scheme. Your team isn't in threat of getting relegated and threatened of leaving the league, period. They're there forever. They are there forever. So just learn some coping mechanisms. Just learn how to go up, come down, go up come down and i'll say breathing helps now from the different the obvious angle from this channel your expectations assuming you are a consumer of football and yes the real football not this made up stuff and if you're a consumer of the real football here are some suggestions and i'm definitely not going to call them tips don't go in thinking that you're going to watch something comparable to any other league, especially the top five leagues in the European market or the top five European uh, leagues or even the second tier leagues. How about this? How about this? If you're coming from a place, if you are coming from a place and not necessarily location, but a mind state, if you're coming with the mind state or the mindset that football is football, the game that you play with your feet and there's goals and there's offsides and there's a thirds, there's a midfield, there's a final third, there's your own third. If you think like that, expectations with the MLS, it's there. The game is slow. The game is slow be prepared for that be prepared to be able to see things before they happen no you aren't psychic no that's not the cheat code it's just that you are well advanced in your knowledge base you have seen leagues games matches and what have you where everything is just moving so fast, you blink your eye and you're wondering what happened and you have to go back and determine, is it worth it? It's worth it. Because coming with that, coming with those same expectations with MLS is setting yourself up for failure. That ain't it. It's not there. Also, be prepared to see some of your favorite players or former favorite players or players that used to play in leagues that you now or still consume. That means watch. That means watch. They're there. They're here. MLS. It's not a retirement league per se because they're still playing and the whole definition of retiring is not doing something. But they are here on vacation or they are here on holiday. 
because when you go on vacation or you go on holiday you can uh move about and do certain and particular things not get paid for but hey do what you can do with those three with those two things being out of the way mls is still a sport i mean they do keep score there is a competition and everybody doesn't get a trophy so i gotta give it some kudos and some props for that but the expectation game if you are a fan a fanatic a supporter is one thing and if you are someone who just given this a look-see coming from somewhere else where football is football and soccer is what yeah you're gonna have to uh just go ahead and open up your mind to all sorts of possibilities and none of them are good no 